is we're going to dive deeply into the like button and how you can use this tool effectively on your website to drive traffic. So first, we'll go over why the like button is good for your business. Second, we'll explain why you should use the like button instead of the share button. We've heard a lot of different businesses come and ask us this question, and so we want to definitely recommend that you use the like button on your website. And lastly, we'll go over some best practices. First, how to optimize the click-through rate of the newsfeed stories that um, users can click on Facebook to go to your website. And lastly, best practices on how to optimize the click-through rate of the like button on your site so that you can continue to distribute the content rate of the like button on your site so that you can continue to distribute the content from your website to Facebook. Cool. <clears throat> so if you remember from last time, we talked about uh, why the like button is good for your site. So just to briefly recap that, with one click, your users can click that like button. They make a connection to your page, so you now have the ability to publish back to those users. And it publishes a story to all of their friends that says, Austin likes in and out or Austin likes your business. So we also covered last time um, how to get the like button for your site. So again, just a brief recap. If you go to developers.facebook.com, there's a lot of information about how to put Facebook on your site. If you go to the specific URL on the screen, uh, it's the specific like button page. Uh, and on that page, you'll see a configurator of how to set up your like button. So we kind of walked through this last week, but the one thing to remember is to put the URL of the page that you want your users to like in the URL to like field on that configurator. So once you go through that, again, you just click the Get Code button at the bottom, and a dialog will pop up that shows you the two different versions of, um, of the like button code. All you have to do is copy and paste either one of those versions into the HTML of your site, and your like button will be there. Uh, there are the two different versions, the iframe and the XFBML version, Either one will work. Uh, we probably recommend the XFBML version. It's got a few more features that we're actually going to go over later. But again, both are copy and paste, and both are super easy to get started with. That's just a little bit of recap of what we talked about last time.